Hello, my name is James. Uh, this is a tutorial about buffer calculations uh, aimed at around A-level standard, uh, towards the end of A-level really. So uh, assume knowledge here, uh, pH, being able to interconvert with uh, H plus concentration, um, also uh, knowing how to calculate pH of a weak acid, just knowing the idea of a, a buffer that it resists a change in pH, so pH will change a little when you add a little bit of H plus or H minus, and uh, that we uh, can kind of think as this being a buffer solution made from a weak acid and a, a salt. So uh, this question which I'm going to go through is in uh, three parts. The first is calculating the pH of a buffer, then uh, adding some HCl and calculating the new pH, and then comparing that to the pH of uh, water with a similar amount of HCl. So here's the question. What is the pH of a buffer solution containing 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed ethanoic acid, 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed sodium ethanoate, where the pKa of the ethanoic acid is 4.75? So a weak acid can be represented uh, here. There's uh, some uh, ethanoic acid molecules, and the sodium ethanoate, the salt, is here, and there's the ethanoate ions, and these are in uh, equal concentrations. So you can imagine we put them together, and there we've got our weak acid and the salt, and that's a buffer solution. So uh, we're asked to find the pH. Well, pH is uh, related to the H plus concentration, but apparently there is no H plus. Uh, but that, of course, there is a weak acid in there, and uh, acid has got uh, H plus, and that's because our weak acid will dissociate slightly into the uh, salt and uh, H plus, and this will dissociate to an amount proportional to Ka. So uh, we can define Ka as being the concentration as the uh, products over the reactants, and uh, we've actually got some of these values anyway. Uh, Ka is given, uh, well, not quite in the question. We're given pKa, so that's minus log of Ka is given as 4.75. So that means that Ka is 10 to the minus 4.75. Now, it's an interesting point that this is a small value. Because that's a, a small value, you know, 10 to the minus 5, that means that this equilibrium actually lies quite a long way to the left. We get quite a lot of this and really not very much of that at all, sort of one part in 100,000. So what that means is that we've been given in the question a 0.1 molar uh, concentration of the sodium ethanoate, but when this occurs, and it will occur just a little bit to make a bit of H+, it won't really change the amount of uh, CH3CO minus terribly much. And uh, similarly, uh, for the uh, ethanoic acid, this was originally 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed, and, well, it will have gone down very slightly because of this occurring, because this will have uh, dissociated a little bit into that, but we're really going to say that it's pretty much stayed the same. So that means that we can use the Ka value we're given in the question. We're going to use the concentration of uh, the salt that we're given in the question. We're going to use the concentration of the weak acid that we're given in the question, and then we're just going to rearrange to find out H plus concentration and then pH. So uh, let's work this out. There's uh, just writing out the equilibrium equation again with Ka, which is defined as things on the right and things on the left. Then we're going to multiply both sides by uh, the ethanoic acid, which means Ka ethanoic acid is H plus CH3COO minus. Swap the sides around, we're getting closer to H plus equals H plus, and then multiply by that, it's equal to Ka CH3COOH. So divide both sides by the CH3COO minus. And there we are, we've rearranged for H plus. H plus is Ka, and then the acid over the uh, salt. So to uh, work out the pH here, we're given the pKa from the question is 4.75. So Ka is 10 to the minus 4.75. And putting into here H plus is equal to, there's the Ka. There is the uh, ethanoic acid concentration. There is the sodium ethanoate concentration. They cancel out. H plus is 10 to the minus 4.75. So the pH is 4.75. What a lot of work to end up where we started, in effect, because this is the same. So this is a general solution that if you've got the same concentration of uh, the weak acid and the uh, salt, then the pH of that buffer solution is the same as the pKa of the weak acid. Okay, uh, I'll stop there and then restart on the next part of the question.